Okay, we're here with Dr. Mike Lehman at the ARS in Brookings, South Dakota. And Mike, you uh, have a, a talk that you like to give uh, about an underwear demo, uh, an underwear experiment you did this summer. Uh, we'd love to hear about it. Well, sure. I guess I'm going to backtrack just a little bit before I introduce the underwear, which everybody's waiting for and talk to you a little bit about this field experiment. Uh, behind us is a field experiment with uh, plots containing different rotations of corn and soybean, either corn and soybean by itself or corn and soybean with other crops uh, in terms of a four-year rotation. And this experiment has been going on for 16 years. So 16 years these rotational treatments have been in place. And in this case, by adding diversity and taking a two-year corn and soybean rotation, which is this plot right here, and over here, this plot of corn here is a four-year corn, pea, winter wheat, soy rotation, we've added diversity into the system. And this diversity is diversity of crops, but it's also diversity of crop residues diversity of uh, root exudates from these crops, diversity of root architecture in the soil. And so diversity is uh, really the focus, crop rotational diversity is the focus of this experiment. And why do we care about rotation, crop rotation? We've done a, a number of long-term studies on these particular plots and what we've shown is the four-year rotation actually produces about 25% less nitrous oxide. So you lose 25% less nitrogen as nitrous oxide from the plots. So that nitrogen stays in the ground where the plants can use it later. Um, they also, um, with the four-year rotation, we were able to increase the soil organic matter about 25% over a two-year corn and soybean rotation. And I forgot to mention, all these plots are no-till. So they're all no-till, and then they've had a, they have a, a treatment, crop, a cropping system treatment of rotation. And so then, um, the third finding, we have the nitrous oxide and the soil organic carbon are all uh, better situated with the four-year rotation, but also the soybean in the four-year rotation has 25% higher yields than it does in the corn soybean rotation. So all across the board, whether it be uh, nutrients, soil organic carbon, or yields, we're seeing better performance by the four-year system. You know, I can tell you about this stuff and I can show you the data, but there's not very many visual displays where I can show you the difference between a four and a two year rotation. And so it'll give you an idea of how fast decomposition occurs in the soil.